what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black shells we're doing the two final episodes of season three right now episodes nine and ten you know what's going on now waste much time on the intro just know this if you're watching this intro you know what i mean and you haven't clicked off the video already because y'all need to watch these so i can keep up the watch time energy on the channel but y'all need to watch these you guys that are watching our early access like the video man it's only like one of y'all doing that i did this on the last video in my review i talked about it it's only like one of y'all liking the video and then you guys don't 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 go to the youtube don't go to the youtube channel when it actually is out on youtube for everybody else y'all don't watch it again so just like the video man it's so easy come on man let's get to these reactions all right so let's talk black sales season three you know what i'm saying i was i, I want to get something out of the way first let's talk about um in memory of Captain Vane, as a character I never liked initially, you know what I'm saying, but he rose to, you know what I'm saying, my second favorite character in the show, other than Flint, you know, he rose to that occasion during, you know, season three, between the end of season two to season three, he really became my second favorite character in the show. Um, so definitely, man, F in the chat for a boy, Captain Vane, man. He was a real one. Um, and once we came, the structure of the show made him the main protagonist for season three. And, I, and you know, as much as we, you know, we want to grow with Flint and stuff like that, they really put flint's ideas his ideals and everything because after everything that happened between season one and two it, they really brought it around for you now to see that in some way flint was right all along you know what i'm saying even though during those times you hear me talk about bigger picture like we're trying to save everybody blah -zy, blah but then when you realize how scummy england is like how can you even root for that anymore how can you even accept pardon from them anymore you know what i'm saying so it's the writing in the show is so good to the point where i'm commenting on it during the episodes it's it's just like you know what i'm saying it's like you're going through the motions you're so immersed you know it's just so incredible character they created and I was sad to see him go. I was sad to see that he, he told them, don't do anything. I'm going to take this L. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna well, not really an L. I'm going to take this sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice myself so that this war can happen so that we can, so I can save my home. You know what I'm saying? Because this entire time when he was talking, you know, we, we, you know, I have been on him and be like, man, can't you just see the bigger picture? and just like let this happen but there's so many great lines where he talked about you know what i'm saying you know where he talked about this being at home and you guys giving up and you know i remember one particular statement that he made when he was talking i don't remember who he was talking to um but he was basically to paraphrase what he was trying to say he was basically saying that you know what you guys are talking about you know this bigger picture and being under english rule is it's the only thing that he fears that's the thing that he fears the most because it's kind of like in some way it, it's like slavery itself you know what i'm saying that's why he fears it so much because and that's why he's fighting against it so much because it's slavery to be under that kind of rule you do you really do not have any kind of free will when you're under that kind of you know society has become a a lot better since then to be honest you know what i'm saying but the way how things how things used to be back then and the things that they do just to get you know put you under their thumb 
and just tell you, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just things has become a lot better. I'm not going to say it's, you know what I'm saying? It's um, creme de la creme of diplomacy or, you, you know, or anything like that. But it's a lot better compared to the society that back then, you know, slavery was a legal thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot better. It's not gone completely, you know, certain things, but it's a lot better. I can say that much. So RIP to Captain Vane, man. You will be remembered as one of my favorite characters ever in TV history. No joke. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the war is underway. Um, you know, one of the things you guys know that I talk about when it comes on to my reviews for seasons, you know that I there's three elements that I pay attention to heavily during the season. I might not comment much about it, but I pay attention to it. Is um, there's three elements that I use for my reviews: the rewatchability, the videography, and the um, the sound design. So, or you want to say score, whatever you want to call it. Score always. You know what I'm saying? Always enticing. They know when to play music. And the timing is correct. This season is a 10 out of 10 for me. So you don't even have to worry about it. You know it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So I don't have to wait till the end to tell you that. Because you know it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. The writing this season was absolutely off the chain. Um, very reminiscent of, of seasons that I watched you know prior i'm talking about like breaking bad writing good game of thrones early season writing good even though they had source material you know what i'm saying um if i should give you guys an example of really really good writing that is like no pl plot holes no plot holes everything comes back you know what i'm saying and, and gives you that feeling again of just figuring out what's going on you know what i'm saying like the story is very comprehensive but yet it's still it's a very complex situation there's there's a lot of things that are that that you know that are written in the script for these characters to say that you're like hmm you know what i'm saying like you get that feeling of man this is something that is going to change the game or change the um the situations in the series you know you get that feeling of satisfaction when they actually pay it off you know for three episodes to the end of the season and you know one of the biggest reveals this season was revealing that you know mr scott is the one that was you know doing this and he he's basically a king you know what i'm saying i think it was one of the best reveals in this season that re I think it was the only thing that really surprised me to the point I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we knew there was something fishy going on with Mr. Scott's role in you know certain aspects of things where it's where it's like you know, um, we where did where did all those people go, you know? And there were little hints here and there. But they weren't too obvious for you to be like, oh, 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 I see what's going on. Because you never really know what's going on until it was revealed. So, uh, when you talk about, as I said, sound design was great. The video, the videograph, the, the videography in this season was probably the best CG I've ever seen it went to the point where I was thinking, did they shoot this on site? Even though we know ain't no, ain't no, these ships don't exist anymore. So it's not like unless they built them and was out in the open ocean shooting this show, which I think is not possible. But <laughs> but hey, I, I wouldn't put it against them. I mean, that would, of course, it would take more money. Of course, but I don't think this show had Game of Thrones budget. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think it did. Um, but that's just my opinion. Maybe it did. Maybe don't. But all I'm saying is, if that was CG, that's out. That's movie quality CG. 
where it's like it's even to the eye test you know what i'm saying even to the eye test it looks so real it it's so believable to the fact that you're questioning is this really cg you know what i'm saying it's like it's crazy the special effects especially out on the open sea how how good it was this season you know what i'm saying the ships looks a lot more real there was a lot more open shots too especially um the storm scenes the, the, when they were in the storm that was so believable the amount of water that was splashing around and stuff like that um just the way how the the boat was tumbling which is very easy to fake that's not that's that's not hard to do because uh, they can you know build some some craziness to make the boat rock back and forth and you know with the actors in it and the people who are there in it so that's not hard to 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 to, to fake you know um but for the the actors did an excellent job of selling it you know what i'm saying um and also the amount of water that it was involved the 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 um the sea when you compare this to like um some scenes in like vikings when they were trying to see it, it's so obvious that it's cgi in vikings you know what i'm saying but in this it, it for the storm the storm did not look like cgi bro it looked like real i don't know if you guys have ever been if you've ever seen because i've seen i've never been on a boat inside of a storm but i've seen a storm coming while i'm on the beach and it that shit, <laughs> that shit is not a joke bro it, you know what i'm saying where well, we had to pack up everything and get the hell out of there when you know what i'm saying when a you know a heavy a, a storm is coming tropical storm is coming or whatever we've been on the beach i was in jamaica and that happened before and we had to pack up real quick and bug and bug out so um so yeah man incredible incredible videography this season now rewatchability right definitely definitely i can see myself watching this again with somebody you know going through the series again maybe you know you know three four years online i'm looking for a good series to watch i might watch black sales again um you know what i'm saying like the rewatchability is definitely there this is one of those series that i would definitely go and watch other people's reaction to um certain episodes maybe even watch the entire thing again so and and i find myself doing that with a lot of the shows that i've finished up on the channel like i go back and see who's watching this series see if i can see how they react to certain scenes since they catch the things that i caught or 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 they caught things that i didn't catch and stuff like that so i do go back and watch other people's reactions and stuff like that to show like right now i'm watching um i'm watching dark by um the normies they're doing the dark they're doing dark reactions now so i'm watching them watching dark to see if they catch anything that i didn't catch catch and stuff like that because dark is one of my favorite series that i reacted to on the channel like i binge watched that entire that those three seasons like you know what i'm saying so, um during that month break got him out to y'all so dark was definitely one of those i rewatchability was up there because it's one of those shows man you know what i'm saying so yeah man so i'm excited to know that the frame and horny gold died in season three didn't want to see their ass in season four ever again so they're out of the game and let's talk about eleanor let's talk about eleanor i don't even really want to talk i don't even want to mention her name i really don't i don't want to mention eleanor's name to give her more clout you know what i'm saying I don't want to give her no 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 clap on my channel. You know, I, I just don't. She's just not she's not even in, in my top five characters any anymore. When she was back in Nassau, she was in my top five because I respected her. You know what I'm saying? But now I truly understand what Vane was saying, what the stuff that he said to her. You know what I'm saying? She's she's become her dad. She's become her dad. She's a sellout. You know? Um, so when it comes on to her and um, you know, she and the governor, whatever, man, 
governor i i expected more of him i thought he was gonna wake up and be like you know what i'm saying but i guess he's salty because he got beat up on the on the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? i guess he's salty you know but it is what it is you know him and him and and, and eleanor sitting in a tree so we this man is a married man out here cheating don't care about his family. I don't think he planning to return back home. And I thought, you know, you get on the island, you just send for you for your girl. You know what I'm saying? And be like, you know, you're going to be there for a while. So why not get your wife? No, I got Eleanor. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, definitely, definitely not in even the, the simplest of things to even think about her. I can't. I don't even want to elaborate on her character right now because it makes me, it's pissing me off. But um, when it comes on to, let's see, whoever, I, okay, friendships, friendships, Captain Flint, John Silver. Um, wow, what a character development that Long John Silver has had in this series, like. Remember season one when I was like, I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like him because he's very conniving. I'm surprised that he survived this long. But look at where we are now where him and Captain Flint is basically best friends. And I said to you guys that it's the best relationship in the show. Um, in my opinion, I think it is the best relationship in the show hands down. Like, the character growth between these two has just been enormous and great, and I love to see it. Um, so, definitely, those two are one and two of my favorite characters right now. Now that Vane is out of the picture, um, you know, um, I'm going to move Silver up to the number two spot and put um, Vane in the, in, in, in the, he has passed on to legendary to goat status you know what i'm saying so um and mr scott as well um i know some people probably don't like mr scott's character i don't know i mean he didn't get a ton of screen time you know but I, at one point as i said i was thinking i was like why don't they just end this character like what are they waiting on <laughs> you know what i'm saying because at this point he's not doing anything he's just laying in bed I mean, if you're not planning to bring him back, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, or heal him, yeah, you know, just write him out of the story. Because at this point, it's like, why wait? I, I, didn't, I think he died in the final episode. It was like, why did he survive for, for I think, it, how, how long was it? About six episodes? I think we found out about it. I think he got shot in, like, episode three or four. Um, and I, I think situations on on there situations that don't get me wrong the, the last scene he had with his daughter was very touching when he told her it's like it's you it's not eleanor you know what i'm saying it's never been eleanor you know um it's always gonna be you you are always gonna be because you you my flesh and blood you know what i'm saying it's always gonna be you i'm always gonna choose you over her so i at this point to hell with her <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so that was very touching but I, um i think they could have done his death in probably well you know what i'm saying a couple episodes earlier but it is what it is they could have shot that scene anytime at any time before that but it's great they had a funeral for him and, and all that so it was it was cool um so yeah so when it comes on to um hoping that this new council that is being formed with you know teach flint silver the new queen or whatever the new queen and it was somebody else at the table who else was it there was somebody else at the table or, or was that all of them i think it was five of them sitting at the table right it was flint silver the girl teach there was somebody else jack yes jack was there okay so i don't mind jack being at the table because he's proven himself that he can be a good captain and also he's proven him i'm not betting on him in a fight like a fist fight i'm not betting on him <laughs> no still no 
but he's definitely has leadership qualities. Um, you know, he's grown on me. He's grown on me. Been a bit of an annoying character sometimes, but um, he's grown on me. Um, definitely. Um, I didn't like the fact that him and Anne left Vane out there. Um, but maybe that was also part of Vane's plan and get, you know, I don't think he wanted to be captured. Let's just say that. I don't think he wanted to be captured. Oh, man, they just had him hung in the, hanging there in the square too. Like that was just so wrong. You know, um, it's just, that's, 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 that's just, that's some, some barbarianism stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then they want to talk about civility. And it's just like, you hang a man, and then you, you know what I'm saying? No respect for, for the dead at all. I don't care if they're a criminal. I don't care if they're a criminal. You, you just, you don't do that, you know? But, you know, you guys have told me that back then they didn't have that much respect for the dead anyway. So it's like, you know, it, it is what it is. But um, I hope that Max learns something from this because I don't want to see her end up dead at the end of the series. I want her to keep on surviving and choose the right side to survive with because if you stay beside Eleanor, I'm telling you, Max is not going to survive this. I wouldn't write her to survive if I'm writing her to, if I'm writing Max to stay beside Eleanor, I'm not writing her to survive the end of the series. I'm not. I wouldn't do that. So, if, I mean, she needs to, to, to understand what is coming. And I'm, Billy is, Billy out here. He, you know what I'm saying? He's doing goat things. So I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not putting him on the back burner because he's out here spreading the news. Because once the boys come back and they're coming back to take NASA this final season, it's going to be on and popping. And people going to have to choose sides. And if, listen, listen, yo, this, this is, this is what it is, man. I like how this series is going i love it i love it 10 out of 10 season for me um definitely 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 um i think i touched on everything i talked about everything that was relevant it was a great battle shout out to mr dobbs mr dobbs did not betray us even though i thought he did i don't know why he decided to just kill one of his own men to make this plan go through i guess that was part of it that wasn't expected but to carry out the plan because you hear what John was saying. John was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not an easy thing to accomplish for people to like you and fear you at the same time. And I experienced that a lot when it comes to leadership. Um, you mustn't rule by fear, but there should be some little fear, some little bit of fear, even though you're not mustering it, people are not going to mess with you and 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 cross the line but they'll still do exactly what you want them to do um you know what i'm saying um so it's it's very true what he was saying that was a very very nice thing that they did that that conversation that they had where they were being super real with each other and him finding out about Flint's history and, and just Flint just opening up to him, I think was very necessary for their friendship to grow. Um, so it was definitely one of my favorite scenes of that final episode of the season. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you early access people like the video, man. Like the video. Okay, I know y'all are paying two dollars a month. Like the video, please. <laughs> Comment, okay. Talking to you, to you people, okay. I know people on YouTube is like, why is he saying that to us? <laughs> but anyways, you people who watch my reviews, okay. Come on, man. Get with the times. Get with the times, man. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace. See you guys for season four.